Hello again. My name is Aaron Sharinian with the United Nations Foundation, today talking to you from the floor of the Digital Media Pavilion at the 2011 M Health Summit in Washington, D.C. And it's a distinct pleasure to be seated here talking with someone who is knowledgeable and passionate about the subject that brings us all here together about M Health. I am here with Dr. Krishnan Ganapathy, and it is an honor to have you here, Professor. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, the professor is a noted Indian neurosurgeon with Apollo Hospitals, one of the leading super specialty hospitals in India, if not the leading super specialty hospital in India, and one of the largest specialized healthcare providers on the entire continent or in the entire region. And uh, again, it's a pleasure to have you here with us, Professor. I'm, I'm hoping that you will tell us a little bit about what you're seeing here at the M Health Summit, and most importantly, what you're going to tell people here at the M Health Summit. What is your message, and, and how, is, uh, how is the health of M Health today? I think it's absolutely fantastic. I came here last year and I think there's at least a 50% increase in size. But what I'm very concerned about is, I belong to the BC era, before computers and before Christ are one and the same. What I'm concerned in a way is that I think less than 20% or even less than that of the participants are medical doctors actually handling patients or treating patients. I'm glad that I will be out I won't be in active clinical practice a few years from now. It looks like it is the M which is being given importance rather than the H in M health. Mm. And I very strongly feel that unless medical doctors, I'm talking from an India perspective, in India, 82% of the Indian population of 1,300 million people have a direct face-to-face -face encounter. Insurance looks after less than 8% of the population, unlike the US and other countries. So in India, unless you take the doctor with you, it is a doctor who should be an evangelist. It is a doctor who should really embrace M-Health for M-Health to be really accepted. Unfortunately, we have more pilots in M-Health than there are in the United States Air Force or the Indian Air Force. In fact, I think we suffer from a disease called pilotitis. <laughs> and every time we just do pilots, and I really wish that the mobile phone is seen as an enabler to help the doctor provide health care rather than a standalone unit which will remove the doctor from where he was all these centuries.